James Kaufman, World News Report, today, February 24th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, most of y'all already know we had an X 2.03 solar flare late yesterday evening. We've had three additional M flares today. And we have two delta sunspots that are currently Earth-facing on our solar disk. What happened? We had an X 2.03 solar flare. It was generated by a newly named sunspot group that's also departing around the far limb, sunspot group 4001. This will not be geo-effective towards Earth. It appears, but we have had additional flaring today that looks like it will be. NOAA is saying that there's a chance for additional activity reaching this magnitude over the next few days, and I will show you why. All right, taking a look at our GOES X-ray flux, yesterday it looks like we had some decent activity, a strong M-flare, followed by some smaller M flares, and then the day finished off with an X 2.03 solar flare, luckily from a sunspot group that was or is almost around the limb. Now, today we've had three additional M flares, and we might be about to have our fourth. You can see, see them right here. One, two, three. And something's happening currently. We'll take a look at the magnitude of those M flares right now. All right, that last M flare that we just had came from a Delta sunspot group. We have two of them, 3998 and 4000. You can tell because they're red. It's going to be a beta gamma, and it's going to be a simple sunspot group. The simple sunspot group is responsible for the X 2.03 flare that we had yesterday. And yes, it was still a simple sunspot group at that time. So what are we dealing with currently? Well, we've had shown here two M flares, an M 1.3, also from 4001, basically around the limb not going to be geo-effective towards Earth. Then we had an M3.3 from Sunspot Group AR4000. We had a couple of strong sea flares from another Delta region, Sunspot AR3998. Now, currently we have a 25% chance of having another X flare, 65% chance of having an M-class solar flare. That ship has sailed and we're running a C4.83. So I would move that up to a 100% chance of having a C flare because we have been running a C baseline for some, some time now. With that said, that's the first X-class solar flare we have seen in some time. Over to HMI Intensicram, we currently have 11 sunspots that are Earth-facing our solar disk. And they're all simple except for 4,000, which is responsible for an M-flare today. And 3998, which actually spewed out several strong C-flares today. And there's 4,001, responsible for the X 2.03 and another M1.3 today. Now, in addition to all this mess that we have going on over here, we've just named four new sunspots. 4004, 4005, 4006, and 4007, all currently simple sunspots, uh, but they're moving into be Earth-facing, and I would expect at least one or two of them to become more complex as that happens. Headed over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. 
You'll see that everyone's getting their fair share of radiation in the form of mostly C flares with an occasional M flare for today. But let's not forget about the X flare that was, well, directed towards Earth enough to cause an R3 radio blackout. So you never know what's going to happen with those explosions on the departing limb. Over to go, solar ultraviolet imager. You can see that we've got some horrific looking coral holes that are about to be earth facing. In about 40 to 50 hours, we should see an uptick in solar winds. And we have some main sunspots that are leaving. That's going to be 4001 right there. And we additionally have a bunch of newly named sunspots that look, well, very active as well. We have a large filament here that looks like it's ready to release at any moment. Now, this is the latest and greatest last two hours, and this is GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms, and I don't know what is causing the flashing. We must have a problem with our GOES satellite. Uh, I have really no idea. It's been ongoing for three days now. Let's take a look at NASA's ISWA Spiral to see if any of the M flares might have been modeled. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Isla Goodard Spiral has been retired by NASA. It's going to make it much harder to determine when the chrome mass ejections will be inbound. You can see that the X flare there popped off a large CME, and I don't see anything significant whatsoever from any of the M flares today. Again, that was the X flare yesterday as it was departing our far limb. I see absolutely no coronal mass ejections lifted by any of the M flares that we had today. And if it is not obvious, that CME will not strike Earth is headed in another direction. Now we can check the NOAA spiral and it doesn't look like they're expecting anything whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't even look like this is going to break the 10 centimeters cubed space weather threshold on the 24th, which is today not happening. And solar winds, well, nothing's happening. This has not been updated. In quite some time here. Uh, I'm expecting an update in the morning. That said, God bless you guys. Please share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.